Okay guys, um, this is Grant. I'm gonna teach you how to do the first center. So just pick your first center that you want to do. Well, I'm gonna show you to do all the centers, but pick your first center. Um, I'm gonna pick blue. Because blue is mostly done. So, you do it just like a 3x3, three three, like this one needs to go up here. Move it out of the way. Bring it down. Bring it back in. Bring it up. So, just, you just work it in. So, so you have this. And you have two down here. Which you want to. Bring those two up. And you just find the last piece. Just here. In the center. Right now, you just don't care about any of the uh, treasures stuff. Rohit will show you how to do that. So, anyway. So, this. Move it out of the way. Down. Back in. Just like a 3x3. Three three, first side. So, you got this all done. Next, it's kind of weird. You want to do the opposite side. So, I started with blue. Now I'm going to do green. Now, best thing you want to do right now is make groups of two or three. So, I've got a group of two right here. So, two, bring it up here. Now, here's something. When you bring it up, this little bit of blue right here comes up. So, what you want to do is you turn it to a place where there's no greens or greens that are unimportant bring it back down so you still have what you've created from before so just match up things like this middle here is here this one's here matching it up there's a group of two so I'm going to put that up there there's two, two rows of three. And that's your main goal. Because then you still have a little shaft to put your and to make your blues be fixed. Anyway, and then what you do is you make your long line of three. Which I just did. Now, you can't just go this. Because what you would have done is just do this. And wouldn't have gotten you anywhere. So here's what you do. You actually set it up like this. Do this. And now, since you've knocked this one out, turn it all the way to the other one. Bring it there. You can see that. And now you've done that. Now you've done that. Third center. I'm going to... What I like to pick for third center is the one that has the most of its uh, things on the opposite side. So, like, uh, so this red one has a couple oranges. So I'm going to start with red, plus it's mostly done. So, anyway, I'm going to turn it like this. Now i got to be careful because these are on my sides, so got to be careful. So I'm going to bring that up. I don't have to do any of the weird stuff like that. Um, I can, but it won't make a difference because it's the same. Anyway, also, you have, um, sometimes you want to combine things from on the other side. So, uh, this one's on the left, and I want to put one there, so... I'm going to put this one on the top left, like so. Now, here's what I do. do this twice, so they made up. What you do is you turn the side. Then, see these? They're still not fixed. So you put them back. But you still have this group of two that you made, which is nice. And then, here... This one just needs to come up, so bring that up there so that way you don't wreck anything that you already have. Then just 
bring it up so you have a group of three turn it then since you have these two rows this simply put it in next is it gets really it gets tougher and you just start having to figure things out for yourself I'm sorry but uh, it's the best I can do um, you have to pick one of these two sides so I'd suggest just the most done side or the one that has the most groups of two I'm gonna choose to do the white one because there's two groups of two and one group of two here which is really nice so that way I can just make the two rows of three really easily so I'm gonna do that but I've messed up my red so I have to do the thing that I was doing for the second center turn it do that now I'm gonna bring the, the second white group up here and then I have to fix my red side so take it put it down the shaft okay now I have these two on the bottom which I'm just gonna have to worry do stuff with like this and then fix that and then uh, I'm also gonna turn this one so it's up in the top left and the, and the, so that way when I move it up it'll meet up with the rest of them so do that and I turn it so that way it doesn't affect anything and it does that so I've got the shock and the three so here's what I do I do the same thing as the second center knock it out turn it around bring it back in now you got your last two this is a really tough thing to grasp on and I'm gonna give you one of my strategies that I use okay so what you want to do is start by getting the two shafts and make the shaft so you do with, with groups of two and you obviously have to uh, use that to do that so bring that and you have to turn it and do that okay so here's what is problems with me uh, um what I this one is good because you have the shaft and this and what you're mostly aiming for though is when you you have this and like this length of three here and on this side it's this length of three here but that really can easily be, be fixed watch you line the three up and you add and put this one up turn this and bring it down and now they are opposite now here's what you do you turn it like this because to fix this to make a three of yellow and the th and two rows of three for orange you need an orange orange yellow well look at this this is an orange orange yellow bring that down turn it you have all the centers finished